war powers should tell Buhari government to listen to the Kano before leaving office. Because if they think we will allow Tnibu to continue from where Buhari stops, believe me, they are asking for something else. The Russian government, the European Union, the UN, the world powers should advise Buhari to release Namde Kano before leaving office. To let peace reign because we have tried our best to give peace a chance. If they think that the turning of Namde Kano will stop the Biafra restoration, they are making a very big mistake. No doubt on Namde Kano is the man who then to bring Biafra to light. And this is why no amount of intimidation, no amount of suffering can make him to drop Biafra restoration. Because this is finishing touches. This is why for two whole years in DSS custody in one man's cell with the whole humiliation, the whole torture, even with the torture he received why they we are trying to kidnap him in Kenya and where they kept him. The suffering they made him go through. He has continued to be consistent. He has constantly refused the bribe of British government. This alone should tell you what Biafrans are capable of. Nande Kano may be a gentleman who wants everything to come peacefully, but he is not an uneducated fool like a PC government. And this is why he doesn't joke with Biafra restoration. Every damn prophecies he prophesies about this contraction has come to pass, including the election. Why is it that the war powers are not doing something tangible to force the hand of this doubt in presidential house in the name of Buhari to release a gentleman, a freedom fighter, a man who so many people, millions of Biafrans believed in. He has told you he doesn't need your bribe. He has told you what he wants. Restoration of Biafra. And that we are keeping quiet. Asking the United Nations, the EU, the Amnesty International, the war powers, the Russians to do the right thing. This relies by calling these people that call themselves Nigerian government. 
to list a man that a court of law has released. There is nothing secret about Nigeria anymore. The war powers knows that Namde Kano was discharged and acquitted by a competent court of law in Nigeria. Upon that, a Tarante president refused to let him go. He neglected the apical judgment. He neglected the judiciary. He called the Nigerian constitution useless. The war powers saw that happen. So there is nothing they can claim it is secret anymore. This is a man that some of his kinsmen were proscribed as number four deadly terror group. He refused to proscribe them in Nigeria. Upon that, the world allowed that then to continuously go to both Chatham House. They allowed that then to continue to go overseas, even in United Nations for a press conference. The world power should not allow us to think that they are complicit to this crime. This inhumanity, man humanity against man. This gentleman and the cow did not commit any crime. He was only fighting for the freedom of his people, which more than millions and millions of their friends supported him. Because Everybody was tired. The same thing why we supported him is what is happening today. And that man won election in Nigeria to make the so-called Nigeria a better place. You to try their best to vote for their personal candidate that they want to be in office to make their country a better place. To bring everybody together. To remove tribalism. But some people So the sweat of the youth. By selecting president elect instead of electing president elect. Things like this. Made people like so many beer friends. More than ninety percent of them to follow the preaching of Nam the Khan. To follow him because we believed in him, we trust him. No, some like some kind of freedom fighters coming around this period. And the shred that just happened on the day of election that just passed should tell the war powers what they need to know about this contraction. That in this contraction, people don't practice human right. They allow those who take care for this effort to move around freely. They treat them with kiss glove. Why freedom fighters who believe so much in people's rights, something that is shown in the United Nations chapter, is somewhere in DSS dungeon suffering after a court has released him. The same of his right, they are trampled. They are trampled. Is this not enough reason for the war powers to make sure that that gentleman is released? Unless, of course, they are telling us that they are complicit to this crime because of our resources. And that would be a very big shame. Tell Buhari government to listen to the canon before he leave. Otherwise, we will do it on our own and then the consequences. J. Biafra.